the Lexington Minuteman statue. It was put here in 1900. It is John Parker. John Parker commanded the militia that was here on April 19th, 1775. He was born in Lexington. He was in very poor health at the time. He had tuberculosis. He died about two months after this time. It was his order, stand your ground. Don't fire unless fired upon. But if they want to have a war, let's have it here. Of course, the British heard that there were stores of ammunition here in Concord. They were trying everything they could to keep down this rebellion. And they also knew that Sam Adams and John Hancock were here, and they were staying down the street at John Hancock's cousin's house. They wanted them. They were gonna pardon almost everybody except Hancock and Adams. They wanted, because they were the rebel rousers of the whole group. But what they didn't know was at that point, they were coming sort of behind enemy lines, if you will. And although there were just a few people down here, they were in great trouble at that point. This is the side of the meeting house where they had their church. Jonas Clark was repaired during the Great Awakening. He was a young 25-year-old pastor when he came here, and he was preparing them for what was going to happen, although he didn't know it. Uh, Jonas Clark's wife was the cousin to John Hancock. John Hancock had come. He had brought his friend Sam Adams here, and of course they were very much wanted by the British government. They ride out here, and they tell them, they tell the minute man, the minute come down there, they ring the bell and people come. About 80 came actually, about 2.30 in the morning down here and it's like, well, they're coming. And so they were all excited, but they're several hours away. Okay, fine, we'll go back home. So some of them went back home, some of them went over to the Buckman Tavern, which was still there and waited. Lord Percy and 800 troops left Boston for Concord and about 4.30, they rang the bell again. There was about 60 of them that came back. I guess 20 of them decided they weren't coming, but it's like, no. And they set up right down here, so we're gonna go down to the middle of the green and tell the rest of the story. We were kind of playing around over there, but can you imagine it really happening? Can you imagine yourself standing up to a huge army and then your family members being killed and bayoneted and your husband dying in your arms? We've not had to do that because somebody did it for us. Pastor Clark on the anniversary of April 19th said, by the providence of God, hath he ordained those men to begin the fight for liberty that would eventually spread to all the world. They were ready to do that because it was time to split from Great Britain. It was time to be our own nation. It was time to have the liberties that we needed to become the nation so that we could be all what God had for us. This monument was erected here in 1799, and I would like to read part of it. The contest was long, bloody, and affecting. Just heaven approved the solemn appeal. Victory crowned their arms, and the peace, liberty, and independence of the United States of America was their glorious reward. And it started here, and we benefit from it. We just don't get it, the freedoms that we have. And again, they're being methodically taken away because we choose not to stand up and say no.